like to tell you all about the Body Language and Communication Programme. We were in primary six and our teachers paired us up with a wee person from the nursery. This is our buddy. Our job is to play with our buddies in the nursery and talk to them. Some of the buddies were easier to talk to than others and some were quiet and shy. The speech and language therapist visited our class to show us the best way to talk to our buddies and have fun with them. So we can see it's so important and we just know that our little people who are just starting out in nursery will be starting to learn about talking and communicating so we're going to try and help them do it as best as we can and give you lots of top tips of how you can help them because you've got a really important job as their buddy. If you think about talking and playing with people and being able to communicate, why do you think that's so important? What do you use all your talking for and all those different things? To be able to ask people if you want a drink or if you want food and if you need food and if you need a drink and like need and want. The whole class took part in the training. We learned what makes a good conversation and what makes a bad conversation. We played some games in class to help us think about how our buddies might talk to us. We learned that not all we people like to talk using words. Some smile or point to what they want or use gestures. We learned that we need to be face to face when we are talking to them and we need to watch them really closely to see what they are interested in. We need to listen to them carefully and give them lots of time to speak. The speech and language therapist came again when we were playing with our buddies in the nursery. They reminded us of all the things we learned during the body training. The body training programme will have lots of benefits for the wee people. They will have buddies who are confident and knowing how best to engage with them, which means they'll have lots of opportunities for talking and communicating while they're with them. And we know that language and communication is such a key skill, especially to be developing in nursery. Language and communication is essential for skills like reading, writing, as well as learning and making friends. <laughs> I think the Buddy Language and Communication Programme has been really good for our older children. It's given them a wide range of skills that they'll be able to use in the future and it's given them a real purpose to coming down and working with our wee people. It's given them excellent opportunities to develop skills and our, our wee people are really enjoying having their buddies spend time using really good skills to get them playing and engaging them in what they're doing. It's been fabulous. The Buddy Programme has been a great opportunity for both the older buddies and for our children here in the nursery. The older primary sixes have come with lots of communication and language strategies which they've used with our children and this has really enhanced um, communication and interactions which our children have thoroughly enjoyed and it has definitely got our wee people chatting. I'm flying up things Before I went to the training and when I was talking to my buddy it felt a bit awkward because I didn't really know what to say to them and what to do. What I've done differently is I've went down to their level of height so it's easier to hear them and talk to them. I felt a little bit nervous um, both of us were very shy at first and I thought maybe he wouldn't talk to me or anything but no, um, we just get on together and talk all the time. It's like really fun to play with them like when you learn all these stuff you can go like and you'll know what to do with it so like if you're stuck on something you can just think about it. I enjoyed like after going to see my buddy a lot and interacting with him um, but I also felt um, after the buddy training it was a big responsibility for me to uh, look after my buddy and be a good role model. In terms of um, a whole school approach to relationships um, within the current um, session we have been trying to raise attainment by looking at a health and wellbeing programme and one of those things has been enhancing the positive relationships that our learners have with each other. So taking part in the Get We People Chatting um, programme has really helped that, not just with the children that have taken part in it, but right across the school in terms of promoting positive relationships and how we communicate with each other through speech. After the training I feel like it was easier to communicate with them because I knew what to do. I learned just to wait a little bit when I was talking to 
just to let them like understand what I'm saying and not to say too much or not to make it too complicated. Playing with wee people and talking to them is really important because it helps them learn more words. It makes it easier for them to learn, to read and to write when, for when they go to school. The top tips that the primary six and seven pupils will learn during the training are absolutely transferable outside of the classroom. These are really practical strategies that they learn that they can use when they're talking to or playing with any little person, whether that's siblings, cousins or family friends. These pupils are also our future parents, so it's such an amazing opportunity to give them these skills at such an early stage and it will hopefully stay with them for life. I think it will help me in the future um, with if I ever have a child or um, if I ever interact with a child and be to use any of their tips. I don't have a little sister or anything but I thought it would be quite useful for the future when maybe if I have kids so they can learn off of me too. I love my buddy and she plays with me and I love my buddy. I like my body, it makes me laugh. Let's get wee people chatting.